So one of my viewers named Abby has requested Tim Burton's The Mad Hatter. So here we go, we're gonna do our best. So we're gonna start with the hat rim. We're gonna go along that rim. So it's going to be a slight bow. Well, that's not very straight. There we go. Good job. So now his head is coming off of that. So you're just gonna make a line down. I should have sharpened my pencil, hold on. and a line down, okay? And then the hat up here is going to be on top, but it's, I guess you can bring the line up and the line up. So we'll leave a mark in, I mean, a space in there. And for his chin, he's got very angular jawbone, and then it's gonna go across the bottom. There it is. Now we are gonna do his hat, so this is the brim of the hat. And this right here is going to be the material. Now material on either side is not straight. It kind of has like, it's coming out a little bit. Boop, boop. And then you want to take pieces across. Now don't make them all perfect. So one could go across like this. Well, of course not all the way across. One across sideways. Not making it look perfect, right? And then from that, we are gonna put the top of his hat, and then we want to make it arched across the top. So on the side, he's got a little decorative flower and two feathers. So he has one feather coming up, and then on either side, you come in, and then he has a feather on the other, like the other side of the feather coming down. And then there's another piece of a feather, okay? And then inside his hat, it's like a leaf is coming through here, golden leaf. And then he has two decoratives. This just has a circle ball on it. And then you wanna make another one. And this looks like a spade, okay? Now we're gonna finish off the hat, round the sides, and then bring it in around the side and bring it in. There is his fabulous hat. So right down the middle, we'll do a line. This is for his giant eyeballs. So on that line, we're gonna do his eyes. So we go up, up and over. You can make it all the way over and then you can bring it down. Use the duct. So you can erase a little bit in there, need be. And then his, his eyes are like wide open. So they're just gonna be like, go from the top to the bottom. Wow, yep. So do the same thing on this side. Up and over. Bring it in. And then his eyeballs are as open as can be. And he's got the crease, the top. And then we're gonna do a big shiny and a small pupil. Big shiny, small pupil. All right. This looks great. Oh, fun facts. So Alice in Wonderland was written over 155 years ago. What? Yeah, very creative. Okay, he's got some crazy eyebrows. So they're just gonna go across the top. Actually, they're gonna come down a little bit. Got some, cr look at those eyeballs. I mean, the eyebrows, those are crazy. It's gonna come up. You wanna race in here so it looks like they're going, it's going over his head. Okay, so now let's put a marking right in the middle where his nose will be and then 
his smile, okay? So now we can raise the crossbars. So it was written over 150 years ago by Lewis Carroll. And so the book is a little bit odd because I mean, a girl literally goes down a rabbit hole into an interesting world and Tim Burton brought it to a whole nother level. Okay, so when you eventually color it, you're gonna do the, the blue on the top and then the pink on the bottom. And if you want with colored pencils, you can give it a couple of like eyelashes at the bottom there, okay? And then you'll be coloring this in with a light yellow green, okay? Awesome! Don't forget its cheekbones. All right, so let's do its nose. So we'll do the bottom of the nose. This is the side of the nose. Then you can erase that in there. And then his crease at the bottom. This is his nostrils on either side. And a little crease there. There you go. All right, so for his lips, right in the middle. You find that middle. And bottom of his lip, and he has little turned up cute lips there, and then his smile lines, okay? Great job. Yes, he looks odd, because he is odd. So his neck, we'll do his hair in a minute. So just make a line coming out. And then right here in the middle, we're gonna make a V. So from this corner to that corner, we're gonna come down, point, and it's gonna come back up. And then on the side here, we're gonna make it so it looks like he's got like a tuxedo shirt on. And then he's got this fun fabric that's coming in like this. Do the same thing on this side. Looking good. And then right here in the middle, we are going to make a rounded square. And he's got a super bow tie coming out. So it's almost coming straight out. And he's got a, a bow tie coming in here. Now we're not gonna finish off the bow tie because I realize we need to put the teacup in there. So we're gonna get back to that. But in this corner right here, now we can put his collar to his shirt, to his coat. Do the same thing from up here, down. And we're gonna roughly sketch in, don't do it hard, so we're gonna come in where the hair is going to be, okay? So we know, okay, the hair is gonna come in here. Now you can make it look crazy. You can come out like this. And you can make uh, as many wavy crazies. We're just following kind of like that line. So we're gonna come out like this. And one that goes. So now you can make little scalloped edges and every once in a while, you can have a hair popping out. And then you can add some more hairs in it. And you can have, see I think I had some more wiggle wiggles coming in. Look at that, not that fun? Okay, now do the same thing on this side. So let's take out hairs like this. Whoop, he's got these curly cues. Make some more hairs come out. Okay, so now you can come in and give it some more fun. And a couple lines coming in here. Crazy hair. Okay, so now we're gonna put the teapot. So it's almost in the middle, but off to the side. So we'll first start with the shape. So we have the shape of the teapot. So it looks like a marshmallow and 
we are gonna make the top of the teapot. Oh, what other fun facts? It's always been a little strange, but Tim Burton, oh, put a twist on it. And this was played by Johnny Depp. He was the Mad Hatter. So now we're gonna put some details in here. So we're gonna make some scalloped edges for the top of the teapot. And this is the circle on top of the teapot. So you can erase in there. And I always thought it was interesting. Tim Burton, his wife from 2001 to 2014 was Helena Carter. And uh, she plays the Red Queen. And she's in a lot of his movies because she's an amazing actress. And she's a bit, seems a bit crazy, but I'm sure she's really fun. But I guess they're not married anymore. So this is the handle of our teapot. And then you can come in and put some details in it, whatever you want. So. I'm putting in some triangles. I'm going to put in some flowers. So you guys can make it however you want. Okay, now he has his hand. So right off of this, that's his finger holding the teapot. This is his knuckle. And it's gonna have one, two, three extra fingers. Now we can finish off the bow tie. So the bow tie is behind it, but we can put crease lines in there. And it's gonna come down like this. So that's the bow tie. This one you can't see the side, but right here you can. And he's got the pieces hanging off the bow tie. It's gonna come down. And this one you can make lots, it's like floral and fun. So it's gonna come down, make them different lengths and come back up, okay? Now we're gonna do his hand. So right here, it's like his sleeve and he's got another piece of the sleeve and he's got ruffles. So right along here, he's got ruffles. So it's like his lace. And we'll put in his arm. And this part, you can make it come down. This would be like this, it comes in, comes out, and then comes in again. So you can't really see that. And this is gonna come in and bring it down. All right, and his shoulder comes out. Whoop. So what you're gonna do now, he's got like this chain, what it looks like on the pictures is um, spools of thread, lots of colors of spools of thread. That's what it looks like when I look at it. And this is his crazy handkerchief that's just oozing out the side and the magenta. So I'm just gonna do a couple of lines to separate all the colors here. And we can make this go all the way through too. and you could put a pattern on there, polka dots or flowers. And I'm gonna let you guys do the rest. So I sharpied it and colored it. So have fun and good luck. See ya.